So without further ado, let's welcome Presidential Ambassador Coordinator, Carolyn Whiteman. Well, thank you, Joanne and Pam, for your nice, generous introductions. And what I will do is, is reinforce exactly what you said, which is that my objective in this was to not have a grand opening where you are asking people to do something, but really to take the pressure off and let people see this is who we are and what we do. And to be able to say to people, we'd simply like to have them maybe be a referral source for us just so they kind of know what it is that we're doing. So I will begin, does my screen share show up okay, Scott? You're good to go. Okay, all right, so we call this introducing and I will give a little plug down on the left-hand side. Andrea Galvin Productions is a high school student who is a student that I've been working with since she was in eighth grade. Uh, we have a mentoring program locally where um, it takes an adult to work with a student so they get a scholarship. And over the summer, of course, all the kids were at home. And I said to her, would you like to make some money or do you know someone who does things like this? Well, bottom line is she did all the graphics for this. So I said, we're putting your name on this. So you have a new business now. So this is introducing. And I like to begin by saying that trust is such an important commodity. And so whoever invited you here, you've obviously trusted them enough to say, I'd like to check this out. And trust is really the grounding of all of our communications. And so hopefully with that as a, as a background, um, you'll see a little bit about who we are and what we do. So it all begins with a story. Well, I begin with my story, which really started in California a number of years ago. I'd finished school, I'd finished university, and I was in that limbo time when I knew what I did not want to do, but I wasn't sure what I did want to do. And I figured, well, maybe I'll end up going back to graduate school, but I was in that limbo. And I went back and I visited my parents who were living in Northern California. And my mom was using some cleaning products when you go to your mom's house, you know, your laundry dishes, and my mom said to me, now, don't use too much. These are concentrated and they don't pollute. Now, that was before anybody used the words ecology and biodegradable. They just, that didn't mean anything to anyone. But the don't pollute got my attention because I had lived in the South Pacific in Polynesian Island Group when I was with the Peace Corps and nothing was polluted. And now I was back in Southern California with air quality alerts and with, with uh, nobody drank the tap water, it didn't taste good. So you got water delivered in five gallon jugs. So I said, well, where do you get these things? And she said, I don't know. I think it's one of those door to door businesses. Now I was 400 miles away from there. So that didn't help me. But fortunately, when I reached out enough to find out where to buy it, I was sent not to a falling down trailer park, which I had this mental picture of someone who was in a door to door business is obviously, you know, derelict. But instead, I was sent to the home of Mary and Gary Loomis, who are the OPA group that we all represent. Mary and Gary were both stockbrokers. Their oldest son, Rob, had just left for Harvard Law School. Their Japanese housekeeper from Hawaii is the one who introduced me to the nutritional products after and the rest of the product line. And so I got this wonderful introduction to the culture and the history of the Shackley, of, of Dr. Shackley at that point. And then they took me to a business event. Now, remember, I was in limbo. All I knew was what I did not want to do. I did not want to go work in an office somewhere and fight traffic and commute, <clears throat> but I didn't know what I did want to do. So the speaker at this meeting started talking about what he was earning. And I looked at this guy and I thought, he's really not very impressive. Until it turned out that he said how much money he'd made, which was twice as much as I had made when I was working in Washington, DC on the staff of United States congressman. And I looked at that guy and I said, I had to make half that, at least until I figure out what else I'm doing. 
well, here I am decades later. And some of the first people that I began reaching out to were some of my Peace Corps friends and Gallerano's on the call here. And I reached out and said, hey, we're all kind of in limbo. Do you want to take a look at this? And so that's, that's a short version of a long story. I ended up moving to Florida and we'll continue with a little more of the story, but that's really how the story began. So this is an invitation for you to simply take a look at who we are and what we're doing now. Well, it begins in January of 2020 and the date is important. Um, this is the time a very, very prestigious annual meeting of the world leaders in Davos. It's called the World Economic Forum and it's a very exclusive meeting. Heads of state, captains of industry from globally meet there and you don't just walk into this. Um, invitations are very few and far between. And one of the people who is invited and regularly attends is Shackley Corporation CEO and Chairman Roger Barnett. And so, and Roger comes to Shackley with a very successful background, business background before Shackley. He's a Yale undergraduate. He's a Harvard MBA. He has a law degree from Yale. So where credibility is important, we're really playing in the big leagues. And so Shackley is the company that we've chosen to partner with. Now, early February, 2020, and again, this date is important because this is before there was any conversation about a global pandemic. Early February, 2020, Roger came back and reported that the consensus conclusions from the world leaders in Davos were that there were three really pressing global issues. One of them had to do with health relating to prevention. One of them had to do protecting the planet and one had to do with income, people being able to create income with the income disparity that, that is in place across the globe. We'll look at what's happened since that time. The last numbers that I saw, 80,000 US businesses have closed permanently since March. Small and large businesses are filing bankruptcy. More than 30 million people are facing long-term unemployment. There are uncertainties about our schools, the childcare issues from people working at home. 40% of American adults couldn't cover a $400 emergency before this all happened. And obviously the challenges to our medical care system and the worldwide supply, global chain um, of distribution systems have all been disrupted. So what's wanted? Well, I say what's wanted is some creative problem solving. And for that, we look to entrepreneurship. So when we look at Shackley's commitments related to the three things that they came back from Davos with, look at Shackley's core commitments for the past 60 years, grounded in the best of science combined with the best of nature. Commitment number one, health, replacing sick care with well care. Commitment number two, commitment to the planet. Shackley was green before it was ever fashionable. Commitment number three, income, creating an equal earning opportunity that's available for people at startup without having to have previous qualifications. And so when we look at the Shackley company, currently it's the number one natural nutrition company in North America with a global presence. But look at the Shackley vision. When we talk about possibilities, Shackley's vision is to be the number one global wellness brand and to be awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for positive contributions to humanity across the globe. Well, those are big visions and it's, it's very challenging to be a part of it. So issue number one, the issue of health. Um, Shackley has had their solutions with a focus on wellness, not sick care, with over a hundred year history of product development with impeccable science that is always grounded in the best of nature, with a proactive focus on wellness and prevention. Well, why are those things important? Well, let's look around. Our kids are commonly dealing with additional episodes of asthma and allergies and food digestive issues and not great healthy food models. And look at what's happened. Ages 17 to 24, more than 50%, and I've actually seen the numbers being more than 70% of 
of, in, of people in the ages 17 to 24 do not medically qualify for military service. And obesity is the leading disqualifier. There's a lifetime of health issues that we can see about diabetes and obesity, which creates huge stresses on our healthcare systems. So why Shackley? At Shackley, we provide a healthier life for everyone and a better life for anyone. We're driven by science, not fads, to create products that are safe for people and the planet. Products that are proven, not just in the lab, but in the real world. Products backed by the strongest guarantee. We can make that guarantee because we're obsessive about quality. Conducting over 100,000 quality tests annually to ensure our products are safe. Before we approve any new botanical ingredient, we screen it for up to 350 pesticide residues. In addition, we screen for many other contaminants, including heavy metals, residual solvents, evidence of irradiation, and microbial contamination. It's a lot, but that's what it takes to guarantee our products are safe. And our products are proven by science and millions of people. In the landmark study of long-term supplement use, Researchers from the University of California at Berkeley showed that people who use Shackley supplements had markedly better health than those who used no supplements at all. For example, the study found the Shackley supplement users had improved biomarkers related to heart health, cardiovascular health, cognitive health, and biological stress. In my nearly 40 years at Shackley, I've seen everyone from elite athletes training for world-class events, like the Daedalus Project athletes, to astronauts pushing their physical limits and boundaries in space. But the most satisfying is working with the generations of families who use and continue to trust Shackley products because they're safe and because they work. We're so confident you'll feel the Shackley difference. We offer a 100% money back guarantee. It's that simple. Safe, proven, guaranteed. That's the Shackley difference. So let's look at issue number two from Davos, protecting the planet. It's where our kids and our grandkids are gonna grow up. And when we take a look at that, Shackley was actually green before it was a movement. In 1970, they had the very first official Earth Day product. It's the first company that has ever been certified climate neutral. Now that is a corporate commitment globally to be climate neutral. And they've been certified from the very beginning. That's an enormous commitment. And with a partnership of the first of two Nobel Prize winners you'll meet here. The first one is Wangari Mathai, who was the Nobel Prize winner um, for the green movement and for planting trees. And then of course, the opportunity to partner with Jacques Cousteau being on the Calypso. It's a long commitment to being green. Then we look at issue number three from Davos, and that is the issue of income. The Shackley Company has paid on over $9 billion to entrepreneurs simply to tell this story. And working at home for us is, now it's a new norm, but it's been the Shackley model for over 60 years. And at times now when so many people are facing daunting changes, the Shackley business is actually thriving for all kinds of good reasons. But consider what's going on in the world around us. Consider who's hurting the people that may be our friends and neighbors, the people who have had well-established careers in the airline industry, in the travel industry, in the cruise ship industry, people who are um, have businesses, personal services, personal trainers, salons and massages, people who've been in the hospitality business and restaurant business, all of our teachers and educators, and of course the stresses on the global supply chains and on top of all of this from an employment standpoint, many jobs are in the position of being transitioned to machines and robots and electric cars and all kinds of things. So when we look at who's hurting while, um, and, and what the needs are, we have the opportunity to offer a financial safety net. And we start with, a, we start with an entrepreneurship safety net a net of $60,000 a year as a side business. It begins with $1,000 a month. 
which we call free product level. At that point, everyone in the family can guilt-free consume all of the products. And what we see is that that's like problem solving. It's doing well financially while we're really doing good for ourselves. And then we can add to that other nice benefits like car payments and international travel, um, additional income options that we look at as what we call the four-year career, which is really creating an income producing asset that we build once and that can continue earning for life so that we actually have the opportunity to create ongoing generational income. This is a chart that shows the actual incomes that are currently being received by existing active Shackley business owner entrepreneurs. And it goes all the way from the left side to over $10,000 a year. That's the basic, say, $1,000 a month, over to up on the right side, then these are average incomes of people that are actually earning, that are actually creating um, career altering kinds of incomes, all for making these choices and possibilities available. And in addition to that, there's another $20,000 in play in the year 2020, which is actually still available as additional incentive. So new thinking creates new possibilities. So we say our mission is to be part of the solution and not part of the problem. And our mission is educating people on these core issues of health, the environment, finances, being able to offer creative, um, creating financial safety nets, as, which is what we call a career with a conscience. It's a career with a purpose. Now, there are three ways that the business grows. Number one is to become a real raving fan of the products. One is to share the story then with people that you know. And the third then is to invite people to take a look at the earning possibilities. And we want you to know that we thank you for being here. This is simply the project that we are involved in. We're honored by your referrals. We're making no expectations that you participate. There's nothing at the end that says sign up here or anything. So we just want you to know what it is that we've chosen to do. And this is all spread by the power of word of mouth advertising. It is really the most trusted form of advertising. And there are statistics, marketing statistics that actually back this up, that talk about no matter how impactful social media are, billboards, mailing things, all different kinds of marketing, the most trusted form of advertising to the extent of over 90% is the power of word of mouth. When someone really wants to know something, you go and reach out to someone that you trust and say, what do you think? What do you recommend? And so our marketing is all based on this power of word of mouth. So it's a magic, authentic customer referral business model. It's called, it's referred to as network marketing, where we create the first handful of customers, but many more people we don't know yet become customers because they're friends or referrals of the original people that we knew. We build teams with leaders who share our commitments. And with leadership, we create possibilities for the exponential growth where we can really have an impact. When we take a look at the credibility of the Shackley company, particularly if you try to compare this with someone who's maybe a startup company, it would be impossible to duplicate this kind of credibility. These are some of the partners that we get to rely upon. Astronauts. Shackley has been working since NASA since 1993. Two Nobel Prize winners, one you've met, one you'll meet in a minute. Over 100 Olympians with the Shackley Pure Performance Team who have earned over 146 Olympic medals. If Shackley as a company were a country, they would be tied for eighth in Olympic medal production globally. Countless satisfied and repeat customers who have reordered products for decades. And the most solid kind of business that anyone would want to build is one where you have loyal repeat customers of consumable products that are reused every month. Products that are safe, products that are work, products that have been part of extraordinary events, 
uh, Les Wong talked about the Daedalus project, summiting Mount Everest, the first time it was ever summited without supplemental oxygen. That was a Shackley supported um, project. And then of course the Olympians and the astronauts. And it's fun to look at pictures like this. Commander Mark Kelly was the commander of the very last space shuttle in the US fleet that landed. Um, this was the Endeavor. And so there he is up in space carrying his Shackley vitalizer, his Shackley vitamins. We call it out of this earth nutrition. And with this group, I will, I will show you the picture down here, which these things just kind of give me chills to think about. But here is Mark Kelly in the picture here. After he landed the Endeavor, which is right here, it came to, it's in a, a um, hangar in Long Beach. We had our Shackley conference there. We had a black tie event underneath, the, uh, underneath that space shuttle. And Mark Kelly was there speaking. And there we are, we get to have a picture with him. I don't know about you, but that just kind of gives me goosebumps to think about it. Here is our second Nobel Prize winner. This is Dr. Elizabeth Blackburn. She's a Nobel Prize winner in medicine. And she has two particular things that she refers to. She's part of Shackley's scientific advisory board. One, she refers to the telomere study. And for that, you can ask someone about the, how it relates to Vivix, one of the Shackley products. But she also refers to the landmark study, which was referred to by Dr. Bruce Daggy earlier when he talked about the study that was done at the University of California at Berkeley. That landmark study took three different groups of people, Shackley people that had been using Shackley products for 20 and then for 30 years consistently, and compared them with people who'd used no supplements and people who had used Brand X. And this was a this is a published um, clinical peer-reviewed study. Take a look at how stunning these results are from this landmark study. Eighty four percent reported very good health. 83% showed less use of pharmaceuticals. And this is people that have been using the products for 20 and then 30 years already. So the invitation is, don't believe us, um, prove it. Um, and so there is actually a prove it challenge to test the products for 30 days, try them out, see what your results are, and look for the positive results and see what they do for you or you get your money back. And soon, there will be an additional level of personalized precision, precise nutrition being introduced with a program called Meology, where you'll have the opportunity to actually do a profile and select exactly what your personal needs are for your nutritional supplementation. So let's look at an entrepreneur's checklist. One would be that they would look to be affiliated with something that's financially solid, so there's a future. So we have the fortune, good fortune of being associated with the Barnett family, which is a billionaire family ownership. We want to look for a business that's expanding for good reasons. All of those three core issues are going to continue to be needs that are going to be going on globally. And looking for some strong mentor leadership and powerful partnerships. So as we close, we look at Dr. Shackley the original founder of the company with his vision. And his vision is that our future will be exactly what we decide to make it. And here we are in very challenging, changing times so that we are making the choice to be on the side of history that contributes to solutions. We use the phrase paradigm pioneers. We're people who are changing the, pioneer, changing the paradigm and, and making some choices available. So there are three ways that you could support us. You could partner with us as a leader because those large incomes reward people for developing and creating powerful business organizations that are based on being a loyal customer. And we told you, we're not gonna ask you to do anything. It's fine if you don't. Um, you may choose to be a referral source 
to tell the story now that you know something about what we're doing. And maybe there are people that you know who are looking for something that they can grab a hold of now because our families' futures and our communities are crying out for what we have to offer. So our invitation is, thank you for being here. Please connect with whoever invited you with a quick call and just chat with them. Tell them what you heard. See if there are people that you need to know that need to hear this. Do you have any questions or ideas? And I'd like to close with the story of the power of what possibilities there are. As I mentioned, I moved to Florida. And through that word of mouth connections over the years, I think I can track about maybe 14 different links between me and gosh, it went from Florida to Georgia to Mississippi to Alabama, I think to Tennessee, finally ended up in Colorado with a wonderful family who have been business leaders with us for decades. Their teenage daughter went to school with a fellow named Eli Bremer, whose name some of you will know. Eli is now the head of Shackley's Pure Performance Olympic Group. Well, he went to school as a teenager and was training seriously as an athlete um, and was having some challenges, needed some additional nutritional support, started using the Shackley products, was able to expand his own accomplishments, went on and became a superior athlete at the Air Force Academy, went on and became a world-class athlete who then qualified as an Olympian in Beijing as a, as a pentathlete. And he attributes the fact that he was able to do that because of the Shackley connection. And if that's not enough, he and his wife had a child five years ago, was born very premature. And when, when Struthers was, Struthers was born, they have relied over this time with the Shackley connection that they have, with the nutrition, with the additional resources of being a part of the Shackley family, so that Struthers was on oxygen for a good part of his life. Of course, they live in Colorado at altitude. I saw a picture of him this winter skiing with no oxygen at age five at altitude. And they attribute that to, it gives me chills to think about that that's the kind of connections that we can make possible with the Shackley story. So thank you for honoring us by being here and attending. And what we'd like to say as we close is that whatever we're not changing, we're choosing. If we read that again, if we're not changing something, we're choosing to be the way we are. Well, we're choosing. We're choosing to get over our hesitation about maybe saying, oh, I don't want to inconvenience you and tell you about this. You're going to think I'm promoting something or whatever our story is. We're choosing to reach out. And we're doing so because our commitment is, if we know if we're not creating solutions in a world that really needs us, then we're part of the problem. So thanks for being with us. We hope this has been valuable for your time. We appreciate you letting us be a part of your life. Thanks.